just got done at our first prom and my kind of review of it was it was pretty stereotypical in the beginning guys were kind of intimidated or scared of the girls or had too much of their own stigma or were too much trying to be a sigma to go and actually dance with the girls or anyone for that matter so i was the one kind of drag them onto the floor which was fun <laughs> um after a while they finally started playing some more known music which was fun everyone was able to dance um yeah there was food which was nice for snacking on there was plenty of drink that they kept restocked i got to dance with a couple girls for the first time which was interesting um but yeah it was overall really fun and i got to hang out with a friend i don't usually get to see that was kind of my version of my first prom my take on it was it was really interesting to dress up <clears throat> since it is our first prom it's not we've never done anything like it before so be able to do dress up in my first prom dress and do makeup and everything was definitely interesting hang out with friends in this kind of location which was decorated beautifully was definitely amazing and being just around all these people dancing and the music and everything was overall really nice the atmosphere at the end was probably the best because everyone finally got into it like as in most situations to the point i could tell a lot of people weren't even wanting to leave so it was overall a really fun experience and one i would 100 percent will be doing for homecoming and obviously next year for prom versus reality and different advice that we can give to homeschool kids or kids who have never been to prom one of the first things i was uh really looking forward to was get, picking out a prom dress unfortunately i only had like two three days to find a dress because i only found out about the prom late because you're invited so i because i was invited so I only had a few days to find a dress, and the first one we got was actually from the coordinator of the event. And we tried the first time, and it worked fine, and then the next time it was a bit too tight. So I was actually given this dress that I'm wearing right now, and it was fine, and then tonight I figured out that was a bit too long, and it actually hindered me from dancing. As, as you can tell, I'm sitting right now, it goes all the way down to my feet. So and it's that, even longer when you stand up. The thing I learned is definitely get a shorter dress. Probably to right about right below your knee or right above your ankle. So you can still walk. A low dress. So it's lower in the back and higher in the front, which will definitely help. Well, and the, one of the rules, too, where you had to get one at least below the knee. Yeah. But it was just the fact that with the poof part of the skirt i think and the length it just was more of an annoyance attire was every girl wears dresses no pantsuits if you have any slits it had to be like three inches above the knee at most uh, then uh at least for feet the it doesn't 
any boots or um, any street shoes. If you, ha you had heels or flats or stuff like that, you could use them. I chose sandals. That was very particular of a no boat neckline. So yeah, it could fall out. So that was the guidelines for the women's side. The men's side was a little bit more lax because, I mean, tuxes are pretty normal attire. Um, the only requirements was if you didn't rent or own a tux, you had to basically makeshift one. So like wearing dress slacks, dress shoes and everything. Um, but I thought I was going to originally wear a polo. We looked at it and they said that it had to be like a dress shirt because it looked more formal and everything. Um, it had to be either a tie or a bow tie. So the, the, also, you needed a suit jacket. Even if you didn't wear it the whole time, you at least had to wear it basically to it. Um, they also made a big deal about the masks because it was supposed to be masquerade. But be, with how warm everyone got almost right away, a lot of people weren't wearing them. And these are the regulations that were at our prom. Most proms are not as... Strict. Strict on their dress codes. This one was called a homeschool prom. Yeah. So it was definitely more strict on it that was, side. It wasn't all homeschool, but I think it was a lot of it was in that. It, they were trying to keep even a lot of the music pretty wholesome and everything. actually invited to this since we are not actually homeschooled you can go to this prom even though it's considered a homeschool prom without being homeschooled you can get invited i know for us the cost was 30 to go normally five if you wanted if it was like below or past a certain date and then it was another five if you want to take a quick dance lesson and a meal beforehand um, but my expectation versus reality, I guess you could say, would be originally I was, like many guys, I wasn't planning a whole lot and I didn't have any goals going in, obviously, because I don't expect anything. Um, I just knew I wanted to hang out with some of my guy friends I don't usually get to see, which was fun. Until the good, better music started coming on. Like they were trying to keep it really wholesome in the beginning for music and be really careful. But then I think they noticed a lot of people weren't dancing to it. So they started to get more popular music going. That was a little bit more normal, I guess you could say. Um, it wasn't Christian for most of the music. Um, but it was, after a while, they finally turned on songs like, I don't know, a version of Cha Cha Slide or different ones that you can actually dance to a little bit better. Um, yeah, definitely wasn't expecting any whole lot out of it. And then... When I got there, the place was a little bit smaller than I thought. It was maybe 200 max capacity, I think. So it was quite small, but it was enough room for how many were there. Um, there was food. I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting anything out of it, like I said. The food was there. That was nice to have, although I didn't eat any. The drink was nice. Um, and overall, it was fun, other than I was the most outgoing guy there. So I kind of had to help pull the, literally pull the other guys to under the dance floor. And it was pretty fun once we all got going. I know it was honestly kind of weird for me even going because of the fact I were in a virtual school and they don't have a prom. They mentioned it, but they never actually got one going. So I went through the process of just accepting the fact I'd never even get to go to one and have that option. So the fact that I was able to go dance with another girl other than my sister which was strange but nice it was never even really a possibility especially now that i'm coming of age and whatever um but it was just a weird experience and i even caught it still feels weird even saying the word prom because like i, said, I pushed it so far out of my mind i never expected i would be able to even go to one especially with the fact that i'm going to be able to go to more in the future is weird this was my the year I went for my junior year prom, so definitely looking forward to next year. But I don't know. It was a lot of it was a thing that I had to get over was the fact it if you're a guy and you're scared about asking a gal to dance, ask someone that you know at least a little because they know 
not only you and they know kind of know who you are, but it's the fact of that it's very low judge, I guess you could say. And they're at least know who you are and they're not going to say, oh, and they're going to think all this crap about you. And then it makes you more in the mood to dance or confident to dance with other people you don't know because you already had to approach someone you know. The only difference is you don't know that person. And it's even the same things a lot I try to get a lot of my guy friends to get over was the fact that it's just in your head most of the time. And the fact that you are scared to dance, but it's the thing that, especially as a guy, you got to get over and just go and ask. Because it's not only you, you're the one that joined dancing. You're making that other person's night by dancing with them because they never expected to dance probably with anyone. So right there, you're even elevating their night. So it's just the whole stigma of, especially if you have a friend or you just try and get everyone at least on or near the dance floor. So when a song turns on, you recognize there's a lot more of a chance to dance and get out there. Even if you sit and just kind of vibe to it off on the sidelines, but you're still on the dance floor. It's a really good way to work your way onto over there and work your confidence up through the process. And my thing actually is, I don't think I'm ever going to actually take a date to prom no matter how many times. Because I think they said I'll be able to go a little bit even after I graduate. So I'm never actually planning on taking a date to prom unless I'm like seriously dating someone because of the aspect that you never, never know who's going to be there. So there, especially if you take a date and then your date sees you dancing with someone else, that's just a weird experience. Or especially if you guys drove together and you both end up taking and actually liking someone else, that can be a kind of weird experience. And end up taking and just it can be weird so and at least for me i'm not planning on inviting anyone because of the chance that you are a lot more free to talk to who you want do what you want and have fun or however you want as long as it's appropriate <laughs> um but yeah i don't know it was fun and uh, now i've been battling for about it for a while but it's definitely a different experience and it's definitely something everyone should at least do once definitely yeah, that was our experience for expection versus reality for our first prom. Hope you enjoy. Bye.